Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Newsfire, where we set your news on. Fire! You, you, okay, that's enough. That's enough. Oh my gosh, my Dimitri is stuck. How do you unstick a Dimitri? So you can see me. I am Paul Gordon Collier. And you cannot see Dimitri. And the reason that you cannot see... Oh my gosh, that's the hand of Dimitri. That's uh, pretty awesome. That is the hand. Of the Dimitri. hand of Dimitri. So the reason that Dimitri cannot be <laughs> on video right now is because he's growing out his uh, his winter beard. <laughs> right, exactly. And I'm afraid that if he appears on camera right now, that people will misunderstand the nature of this show. I'm I'm not gonna say ISIS. I wouldn't say that. You know that. You know that it's either that you gotta you you, you can't see him and I'm not gonna let you, but it's either that or Hillbilly. or or no Amish. Oh Amish. He's Amish. Oh, you're you're either Amish or Amish or ISIS. I'm not sure which. Hmm. What would you rather be if you had to choose? I'd rather be the other thing. The hillbilly? No. The the uh, the name escapes me. They're not Amish. They are. Mennonite? Thank you so much. Oh, you oh, look at that. I used I I I was See, his brain I can use once a again. Flashlight. See, the Mennonites can use flashlights. Oh, so that's your whole life is about being able to use a freaking flashlight. Seriously. Dude, when you're under the covers <laughs> and you made that tent, <laughs> you got the little <laughs> oh, flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and if you're an Amish, like you cannot childhood, man. If you're Amish, you can't experience that until you're 17 or 16 when you go on Rumspringer. Yes. I think that's what they do. Well, you can experience that and could, could much, you not much bump more. the table oh, and to. make noises? I have to bump Seriously? the table. Seriously? Dude, the noises? Be grateful, because I got some noises for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before we came <laughs> on air. I'm going to make your eyes water. <laughs> before we came on air, uh, with an emphasis on air, uh, there were other sounds that were uh, coming forth. That, that was your dog. No, it was not. No, if it was my dog, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be passed out. California barking spider? And you know what's interesting? You can actually, I can hear it. Every once in a while, you can hear when he walks across this. Uh, we have a, a gold-plated floor. You can't see it, but trust me. Uh, and when, when he walks across the gold-plated floor, you can hear his little, his little clawed feet. Yeah, here he comes. And, yeah, yeah, here he comes. And have you noticed his toenails? Have you noticed his toenails? He is a pit bull cane corso mix with painted toenails. <laughs> that is yes, just painted so painted toenails. Yes, what I painted. don't, what I can't. Yeah, tell, tell our audience the color of his toenails. It's, it's like gold. Yeah, they're gold. It's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> <coughs> I have a daughter, apparently, and uh, she took it upon herself. I, well. I was hoping it wasn't you who did it. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me. You know, I feel weird that we're joking and we're having fun and we're talking about something so serious today. We I, are. I don't know if you want to continue joking like that or not. You know, I, I mean, do. It's almost it's like, like a micro. Well, yeah. Our, actually, we have to build up your feel-good, fun, joy because we're about ready to plummet into the maelstrom. Sadness. Yes, sadness. This is going to be the... We're going to just call this episode Sadness. Okay, your dog is nudging me, and I don't know if this is good or bad. He's a nudge. Does he have a gleam in your eye? Or in his eye? Maybe not in your eye. No, I have something else in my eye. Um, no, he, I think he's being friendly for a change. Oh, he's, he's, he's getting oh, used to me. He, he does a snout thing? Yeah, he's, he's doing got, He's doing the snout. He's snouting oh, you? he's got my left one. Oh, dude, he's tugging. He's got your... You want to clarify this? I want you to clarify this. My left this. hand. He's got okay. my left hand in his mouth. Good clarification. This is a, this is a show for kids, so... This oh, yeah, a, this subject matter is for kids. <laughs> totally! Get, get yeah, your kindergartners around for yeah, the if show! If your kids are in earshot, you might want to get them into the basement. Do you want to tell them what we're going to talk about today? I do not. You don't want to do it? You don't it want to break the news to our such audience? such a buzzkill. He doesn't want to break the oh, news. Oh, dear God. Are you sure? Come on. I want you to do it. It starts with planned. And it ends with parenthood. Yes. <laughs> and the subject... Murder. Uh, yes. Uh, the, the, much. the name of the show, we, we don't know what the name of the show is going to be yet. I think it's going to be something like 
why you should still... What the heck? Oh, wait a second. Do you hear that noise right now? It sounds like a star cruiser just... No, that's the train going destroyer. by outside. There's a train going by outside right now? <laughs> Come on. No, is, is it? Is it this? Is it... Oh, it's the heat! Oh my gosh, it's the heat! So right now, folks, you are hearing the heat. You don't Which is know quite the fitting, sounds actually. of your own house? Not when it's going through my earphone and going through oh. a microphone and it's all... Well, that's a good look for you. What do you think sounded better? This wow, I'm sure on video, or... that was amazing. Do you want me to do it again? No, on video? no, once is enough. It's kind of like eating that tiramisu once you finish eating it you don't want any more tiramisu even though it was whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. even though it was whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, whoa what are you was, saying about tiramisu tiramisu is good for me it's good for you are you saying that you only want one serving of tiramisu at a time it is so you're, rich you're insane it's so rich if you drink if you have it with coffee you can you can have two or three servings you could i do if you want I it have. to be like 480 pounds. I am not 480 pounds, so I think I've just proved your theory. But <laughs> I, I've just proved your theory rather soundly. Now, the title is Planned Parenthood Continues to Murder Unborn Children. Be sure you give me a joke! Cricket. Yeah. Cricket. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're covering today, folks. Oh, boy. So, yeah. This is going to be quite interesting. How to be entertaining while you are delivering some very, very heavy stuff. So I'm going to, I'll read a little bit of a part of it. And you can't see the, the, the stuff. So you're going to have to trust me when I describe it to you and react accordingly. So are you going to describe pictures? I will do it. I'll describe in like the exact On this medium format. And, yeah. So that's like you're going to like play a video on the radio. No, I'm not going to play any videos. No, but that's like playing a video on the radio and saying, and this is the good part. This is when he runs yeah. across. Yeah. 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 If you could see yeah. this, if you could see this, you would know. And it's coming scary. up next on the radio show, Bob tells you how to change a filter. And then you open up the hood. Oh, hold on there. Mm, yeah, and then you get this thing here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look on it. Yeah, not look on it. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe that was in there. That's incredible. Wow, well, that was incredible. They don't make them like this no more. Boy, the things you find in your filter sometimes are incredible. So sorry. Right. So okay, so let's let's get to it. I'd rather not. But let's do this. We're doing let's it, do man. That. In the wake of the alleged Colorado Planned Parenthood attack, we thought we'd take a little time to look at the reaction of those who stand against the murder of unborn in response to efforts by those who support murdering unborn children to silence opposition to their bloodlust. First, let's begin with this tweet, and this is a tweet by someone. Their Twitter handler is No Silent Springs. That's at No Silent Springs, and their name is Juxtaposition, spelled J-U-X-T-A-P-O-S-I-C-I-A-N. And interestingly enough, the logo on their Twitter handle is, it says, Expand Social Security. So you know the mentality of the person that you're dealing with. Statists. Statists! Dun, dun, dun. Wow, we're making fun of this story. I can't believe we're doing we have to. We have to. It's the only way we're going to get through this. Uh, so he says he was responding, uh, re responding to a Planned Parenthood tweet, which we will get to. And he says, Planned Parenthood, well said. Every single person who publicly speaks against abortion has blood on their hands. Own up to what you're responsible for. Take that in, Dimitri. If you make a stand against abortion, you have blood on your hands. What do you What's wrong with that tweet? What would be the logical fallacy of that tweet? I don't mean like the technical logical fallacy. Fallacy? Fallacy, dude. This is a hard story to like, cover, so I'm like, why do I want to cover this? My mouth, and my mouth doesn't want to do this story. There's just so much wrong with that It's statement. pretty pretty hideous, isn't it? Yeah. They, just, the person who is objecting to the murder of people has blood on their hands. Right. 
That's, oh dear God. that's where we're at. Oh dear God. It's like if you reject murder, you have you're you a murderer. Yeah, it's like whoa. It's how do like, you argue that? That's pretty Orwellian right there. Yeah, how that's, do you argue that? I don't you don't have an argument with someone like that. No. You just say, No, you're a murderer. Thank you. You're a murderer. Are you? Are we going to move on to the next one? You, you, do you have anything more to say about expands? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to call this tweeter, twitterer person. I'm going to call this guy expand social security. Brought to you somehow by the number three. Oh, there you go. Yes, where's where's? Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Waiting for the count, yeah, because the count would totally want to be in this show right uh-huh. now. <laughs> or, yes, count, we'd like to have you on your guest on the state of wake. Kids, oh, the what kids. the state of wake about? Just come on, it's fun. Get the kids out of the basement. What, and bring what them are, on down yeah, for the conversation. What, yeah, what what are you talking about? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna move on. Can Hold I shake on. the table again? No, no, don't, don't, do not shake the table. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, oh, by the way, I did want to point this out, uh, not to be a grammar Nazi, but uh, it's uh, it's spelled, uh, it's spelled public, wait, what, what's the word here, publicly, I'm going to highlight it here so you can see, publicly, it's actually publicly, not publicly, so that's P-U-B-L. I C A A L Y. Excuse me, A L L Y. I mean, that shows that this is a deep thinker, and uh, we should uh, remember the dude, name of this person is Expand Social Security. That's dude, his name. In England, they spell things differently. Maybe he's British. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think if if it was British, it would be P U B L I C A E L Y. How about just P U B? Just pub. Ah, yes, pup. Hey, dude, let's go. You know what? Let's can the rest of this show yes. and let's go. Okay, now I'm going to flash through this part uh, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, uh, and you can see the video here. And if you're listening on, on our Spreaker show, uh, you need to go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash C, black backslash state of wake show. And this show will be posted up here. You see the video version of this. Uh, But I'm going to scan through. What I did was an image search for abortion fetus. And I'm just going to kind of scan through this to give you the the context of what Mr. Expand Social Security said. And so there we're going through there and I'm not even going to try to describe it, but it's it's not the type of image that I normally share. But I really felt like it was important to do so for this show. So then we're going to go on to the to the actual tweet that uh, Mr. Expand Social Security was responding to, and this is by uh, 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 it was uh, credited to Jessica Valenti. Now, if I am right, Jessica Valenti represents the Arizona branch, whatever of where where the, where, where, where the Planned Parenthood shoot our Colorado branch of the, the Planned Parenthood shooting. So, so this is what they said. This is a, this is a quote by Jessica Valenti. So, if you like, have one of those quote of the day uh, calendars. If you love murdering babies, this could have been one of your quotes because you would probably get a "I love murdering babies" daily calendar, right? They sell them, right? You can look on Amazon. I'm sure they're there. Everything so, else is on Amazon, right? Except for Confederate flags. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a line, man. That's a line. Do not cross that line. Don't cross that line. You can murder Swastikas, babies. Swastikas, murdering babies, fine. Not that I, I don't really like the Confederate flag, but I'm not, we're not going to, no. I know, I know Dimitri has a look of a, of a tirade in his head right now. Do not let that tirade out because you will sabotage this show. And I will not accept that. Can we? Abort polar bear babies. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, "Can we abort this show?" Which would be kind of weird. Because I think there would be huge outrage if people went to the Arctic and started aborting oh, polar bears. Oh, you bear. start aborting polar bear, bear babies? babies? Oh dear God! Baby seals. No, make it baby seals. Polar Endangered. bear. How about can can you have polar bear baby seals? Is that possible? It's like a polar bear and a, ba- a seal got together and like a polar bear baby seal. 
Was that like a Turduncan? Yeah, it's like a Turduncan. Yeah. What if you aborted Turduncan babies? I don't. I don't know. I think people might. Some. It would, it would depend on your audience. I'm assuming that most people who like murdering babies are probably, you know, vegetarians, because you know animals. Right. I mean, right, they, <laughs> right, they, they, right. That's the right thing to do. Oh well, yeah. Don't eat meat. And and abort babies because babies will eat meat. See, you didn't think Natural about that. Natural resources, dude. Dude, you're cut. You're saving Can the we planet. we abort like India and China? Now Is I don't. That... I don't think that you're allowed. No. Why? Actually, I, I feel like at this point that that was a microaggression. You should have. It was more of a macroaggression because it would have been like <laughs> it would have been with pretty neutron bomb. Pretty macro, yeah. yeah. That would have been a macro. Aggression. Okay, so so this is the quote. So prepare yourself, brace yourself Ooh, for this. I'm Ready? Braced. I don't know what voice do you think I should use to imitate her. Who is her? Uh, Jessica Valenti. Valenti. Oh my gosh, you guys don't know what he just did. Okay. Uh, Dimitri is, is a little bit OCD, so I, I am had my his glass okay. is about to fall off. No, my table. my glass was at least a good two or three inches from the edge. It was but, it was six inches when we started, but, and there's a slope oh, on the table, and I could see it going down. So he had to slide that. You slid my juice. You actually slid my juice. I don't know. It it that's there's the juice in question. <laughs> this segment, bro. Oh, oh, by the way, speaking of segments. Even though we, we still have... If you're watching the video, you see exactly what it is that I'm going to be talking about. But mm. I, I want to say this. that This is a Bipcot.org licensed show. That means that anybody's free to use this any way that they like. Unless you represent the government. Or I'm going to add. If you're going to use this for the purposes of advocating for government. Paul, I have an important announcement to make. And which, which is? I'd like to give you my Christmas gift. I would prefer not to have a Christmas gift from you this year. I thought was thinking of you. This is perfect! Oh my gosh, you know me so well! I was thinking this of you. This is awesome! Oh, it wasn't for your no. head. It was oh, for really? your back. Your wife said something oh, about your back. That is inappropriate. Now, no, this is no longer funny. This is hurting me. So this is the quote. Ready? Words matter when we dehumanize people. We make it easier. For others to do their harm. You just take that in. Now remember the first, remember what that first, I know it's, it's, it's that. It's, I mean, it's horrible, it's horrendous, but yet, oh my gosh. These people this, are crazy. Oh, they're cray cray. They're totally cray cray. That woman is crazy. Yeah. Because she hears that, herself. Well, she tweeted it, so I don't think, can Did you hear tweet tweets? she herself? If you tweet in space, do you hear it? That's a good question. That is insane. Are you taking that in? You 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 you're processing that words matter when we I mean, I'm going to read this slower. Ready? Words matter. When we dehumanize people. Fetuses. We make it easier for others. Fetuses. To do them harm. Fetuses. I'm sorry. I, I hiccuped. It sounds weird. I have a weird hiccup. It sounds subliminal. But here's the thing, and if you're watching, you see this. 7,358 likes. 1,000... No, I'm assuming and I'm hoping that the 1,139 shares, I'm hoping and praying at least half of them are shares to show, oh my gosh, this is stupid. So actually, this is, uh, I'm looking at, this is, a, this is not a tweet. This is a Facebook comment. So I stand corrected. Did she face herself? But, but 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 I believe she also tweeted it, and that was responding. Well said, Planned Parenthood. Well said. No one will think that that is being ironic at all. Now, just to take this in again, I have embedded. And by the way, you can go to stateofwake.com, and you can see the notes that we're reading from. So you can see the 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 show notes. Right and by here. we, he means we. Wee wee. I said that. Okay, so again, I want you to take this in, and I'm I'm not gonna stay on this. Why long. not? It's so cray cray. It's just I am just going to go through blowing. the search for abortion fetuses. So you see now when you see these images when you're watching this on face on uh, YouTube, and you better you better go to YouTube and watch this. 
uh, you will see when they say, when we dehumanize people, what it is that they do behind those closed doors every day in every Planned Parenthood. Maybe not, I, I'm assuming every Planned Parenthood. Maybe there is some Planned Parenthood that doesn't have abortions in it. So I don't want to say that definitively, but just about, at least just about every Planned Parenthood. So I here we go. it's safe to say the institution. Oh, the horror, the horror. This is, uh, 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 you know, what we're, we're we, both Dimitri and I, and I think I speak for you when I say, we, we, we take this issue very seriously. But we are trying our best to make this, how do I word it? We're trying to present it in a way that people will listen for the longest time to get this information. So we want to entertain while we provide meaningful content. Now, not mm -hmm. wanting... Go ahead. Just that when the subject matter is so heavy, <clears throat> um, you're reminded of other things in history that were so heavy and that where people turned a blind eye <clears throat> because it was inconvenient to follow up. There were lots of people who were against slavery, lots of abolitionists, but all of those people didn't show up to help black people escape from slavery in the South. Um, they were just like, yeah, man, we're against slavery. Okay, I got to go back to work. And this is kind of where we're at right now with abortion. It is, yeah. it is a, a fundamental evil being perpetrated uh, against <clears throat> primarily the poor and minorities of the United States of America. And it's by design. That of course it is. Of course it is. <clears throat> Margaret Sanger put it out there a long, long time ago that she was into eugenics and she did not want the blacks in America to keep reproducing. It, it's written so clearly. Her own words document her objectives. And her object objectives were to allow black people to enjoy sex without procreation so that their numbers would diminish over time and we could wipe out the blacks from North America. She said that, not me. Right. <laughs> so, Planned Parenthood Rocky Mountains President and CEO Vicki Cowart said uh, this morning, this would have been a day after the Colorado shootings, that the quote-unquote hateful language from anti-abortion advocates oh by the way the, the I'm, I'm reading you, you'll notice when you read articles in newspapers e even when it's a conservative newspaper you'll always see they call pro-life anti-abortion and that is because everybody's following the AP standard and uh, the AP standard has it if you're going to refer to somebody who's pro-life you call them anti-abortion and you call the 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 pro murder people you call them pro choice and you know even conservative everybody, newspapers everybody likes choice and even conservative newspapers they blindly take this uh, AP standard so uh, Vicky Coward said this morning that hateful language uh, advocate or, or anti-abortion advocates make people think it's okay to target Planned Parenthood in her statement yesterday Coward said. Oh, man, i got to use the stupidest voice I can. We've seen an alarming increase in hateful... You know what? I'm going to do Cartman. That was Cartman. Yes, it I'm was like, almost... Dude, it was heading towards Cartman. It's Cartman. Yes, I am doing Cartman from South Park for her voice. Now, this is a cheap, not fully adequate imitation of Cartman, but you get the point. We've seen an alarming increase in hateful rhetoric and smear campaigns against abortion providers and patients over the last few months. That environment breeds acts of violence. Americans reject the hatred and first we all get filled with tragedy. Taking that in. <clears throat> now she said Americans reject. Now, to be sure, we, uh, I think I'm, I'm, I hope I'm speaking for Dimitri, otherwise I'm going to be I'm really confused. creeped out. No, you, you stand against murder, right? I do. In all its forms, including the, the jerk in Colorado that decided that he was going to be God for the day. For whatever reason, whether he was there to target the, the Planned As, Parenthood or not. Either, which, whatever reason he was there, that guy is no better than the guy in the Planned Parenthood Center who's hacking baby parts up. Agreed. 
So we're, we're all in agreement so, with that. So, as, as someone who tends to identify more with libertarians than any other political group, libertarians have the no violence thingy dingy. It's it is actually called the no violence thingy dingy. It's I like technical. it. Technical. That is the yeah. most technical. But explain it to our audience in the least technical, so that everyone would understand, please. It's the non-aggression principle. The no name. violence thingy dingy. Or the non-violence thingy dingy. That the non-aggression. The, not coercion. I'm actually trying to learn it more to learn because, like everything else, you have a simple standard, and then as the standard is worked out, there's all these nuances and gray areas, and I'm trying to work it out. But in essence, the non-aggression principle is just simply: we take no coercive action against someone to force our views or what we want on others. So, unless we, it's self-defense. Unless it's self-defense, right? So we're not. I mean, I am, uh, just so uh, everybody not, knows... Not pacifists. Yeah, I'm not a pacifist here. Uh, I am, uh, let's just say that uh, I'm a proud uh, member of the NRA. I admit to that in public. National Racing Association? Yes, exactly. Dude. I race every weekend. It's my, it's my, it's it's how I, you know, I... I didn't know I, you were a racist. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, oh, moving on. Did we lose something? So, getting back on point, because we're here to be on point, uh, playing devil's advocate, even if we assume, well, I already, I already covered this, so, I, I, you guys need to go to, to uh, stateofwake.com and read the article, because there are things in the article that I wrote, I wrote this article, Dimitri can't write, I'm just going to let that hang out there, see what you say about it, nothing, no comment? Just shaking my head. Why are you shaking your head? Because I'm tired. He's actually shaking his head in agreement. Okay, your dog is sniffing my my shoes. Why is he? Why is he? That's know. what he does. So so again, uh, in in to to contrast this woman who is saying that it's hateful <laughs> rhetoric that makes Planned Parenthood a target. Now, first of all, I want to say Planned Parenthood, not Planned Parenthood, should not be a target for violence, but it should still continue to be a target for truth bombs. As in and peaceful demonstrations and peaceful demonstrations and we we need to continue everything that we're doing to try to stop but Planned Parenthood short if, of violence. We do not advocate for violence. If and someone, they know this, they know this full well. Yeah, but if someone believes, and I'm not saying I'm one of these someone's, but hypothetically, if someone believed that you were murdering babies, my money is on sooner or later. If you don't get the truth out, if you can, your truth, whatever it is, <clears throat> that you're not murdering babies, if you can't communicate that, sooner or later you'll be targeted. And it's, I, it's a natural human reaction. Hey, those people are killing children. We got to get rid of them. I would say that's a natural response and well, Planned Parenthood needs to address that. Well, they, How she did they? address it. She did address it. So she said on a ABC's This Week, oh, Martha <clears throat> Raddatz asked Coward about making that link. Coward said, there's been such, quote unquote, hateful language and a environment around the work that Planned Parenthood does. I can't believe that this isn't concerning to some folks. Mentally, I'm well or not. It's okay. Come target So I, I want to focus on that that phrase around the work that Planned Parenthood does. By the way, best Cartman ever, right? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good Cartman. Not bad. <clears throat> not, not bad. So so if you're watching on video, what you are seeing is the work that Planned Parenthood does. And you know this is the work that yeah I mean there's nothing wrong with this these these uh, babies that are sitting here. There is absolutely nothing. Well, any They're not. any human being with a soul who saw what I just had on the screen, who doesn't think that Planned Parenthood is justifiably worthy of the quote-unquote vitriolic language of the negative image that it gets, any any person who doesn't see that, I sure hope that they're not my neighbor because I am afraid to sleep at night knowing that someone like that is next to me. What you are missing is that they don't see that as human 
No, no, I understand that. So how do but you... That's, that's what makes it even creepier. If somebody right. were, is willing to look at that and say, well, that's not human. That's, I, can, I can dismiss this. <clears throat> well, if they can look at that and say, that's not human, what else can they look at and say, hmm, maybe it's not human enough? Can a certain race of people be not human enough? Well, and, and, and what we've done is we've allowed the government to define the beginning of life because of abortion and now what's happening with euthanasia is we're allowing government to define the end of life uh something that uh, the government very 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 much uh, wants to be able to have that right to do oh that train's coming by again you hear it or is that the train oh that's uh that's my that's my uh secret lair is activating it's a missile launching system and by missile my missile i mean bunnies Missile. Fuzzy bunnies that are innocuous. Is that code? Do you have to go to that? Innoc no, innocuous okay. fuzzy bunnies. So, just so everybody knows, everything about this show is total parody. No, no, no resemblance to actually living persons or or dead persons was uh, uh, was intended, and it was or considered harm. to be purely or, or harm. No, no one was harmed in the making of this movie. And, Seriously, and no one actually combed Paul's back. No, and they should have. Really, well, your wife. Left. She should have. You know. Because your shirt would have sat better. Right. <clears throat> My shirt would have sat better. But uh, as it is, I'm a little itchy. It is horribly disconcerting that people look at those images and say, eh, they're not people. Those are just, you know, like you cut off your finger. You know, we all recognize what a finger looks like. But if you saw a finger in a picture like that, you'd be grossed out. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. And I'll tell you this much. You're crazy. You cut I'll your tell finger you this off. Much. You cut your finger off. You're crazy. If you saw those images, if you saw just one of those images, and I'm not going to go back to it right now, uh, if you saw one of those images, and someone and and your wife was pregnant, and you saw that image, and then someone said that that was your your unborn child, I guarantee you, you would look at that in a very different light. But these people, these little minglas behind the door. And by these people, we mean these people. I mean these people, which are Planned Parenthood people. Right. So, so what they're doing is they're, they're seizing on, they believe that they have an opportunity here to be a victim, to garner sympathy, and to use that moment of victimhood to create an environment of public shaming. And you can see it then in... Well, that's very well put. Yeah. And I know it. I, I wrote it. In the article, I actually go into a little bit more detail on it, which I'm not going to do here because Dimitri's here and his brain can only handle so much sophisticated thinking. I try to keep it... I think it the proper terminology is sophisticated. Oh, yes. Exactly. Right. <laughs> sophisticated thinking. Right. Sophisticated. I try to, I, I to keep it monosyllabic when I talk to Dimitri. And uh, mono... Uh, mono ideational. Mono Mono ideational. Well. Syllabic. Dude, you don't need to have syllabic. I don't need to get racist, do I? No, I'm dude, getting, I'm, now I'm getting racist. Okay, so uh, so we're going to look at the Washington Post with a headline that reads, Abortion Rights Groups Political Rhetoric Contributed to Shooting. That's what, that's what, what they're, they're calling it the abortion. Notice it's abortion rights groups. Well, Washington Post, by the way was the most egregious of all in how they handled this and how how dedicated they were to towing the Planned Parenthood party line, which was Planned Parenthood and victims. And anybody who says anything about Planned Parenthood has blood on their hands and they're, you know, you Are have they? to stop. You We have to stop talking about abortion and well, stop calling it murder. Well, it's not murder. They, you, let's No, I'm not done. Are, I'm ranting here. They I'm, are, they I, are look, victims. Look, look, I'm ranting here. They are victims. You're, you're interrupting a rant. I was about ready to go there. Go. Cool. No, no, go I, ahead. They are victims. Because you crushed my because rant. Because if, if you murder someone and then someone comes out and kills you in cold blood, you're a victim. So technically they are victims. No, 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 no Planned Parenthood uh, employee was killed ever in the shooting. Was ever no, no Planned Parenthood employee was killed. Uh, two people who had taken somebody to be there, and ironically enough, a cop. 
a pro-life Christian cop. A pro-life Christian cop, by the way, who came there knowing it was an abortion clinic. He still came there and tried to save your miserable, rotten lives. Because you know what? I would do the same. You know why? Because for us, all life matters. Not just life that the state has approved. So well, you're a bit better man than I. Yeah, I think you know what I know you, and I, I know how you feel right now. But I if have I was no cop, doubt that if it happened, if I was the cop be on the there, scene, nope, I'd, I'd go home. Yeah, you'd be like, oh no. man, I'm sorry, my gun jammed. Dude, dude, I can't go. I'm sorry, my, my, my gun. My bullets ain't working today. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Did you try to shoot? No, no, no. Look at them. They're, they're look, they're, they're dead in there. They just yeah, they're, 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 they're my bullets. They just lying there. there. Look at them. They're lying there. They don't want to go. I can tell it. So, oh, I went too far down. So, so I'm, I want to read uh, just a little part of this if I can get to it. I'm flipping back and forth, like uh, oh, there's. So you get to see that that again. The I just scrolled through and they saw the picture again. So there is something fundamentally. Well, evil. Let, me, let me read this and then respond. Ready? Evil. You hold that thought. Evil. Just, just. Keep saying that over and over in your head. Don't pay attention to the quote because you don't want to respond to the quote because that would be like like we were on a radio show or something. Evil. Right. So here's the key part of the Defense of Murder article. Ever since the summer when an anti-abortion group accused Planned Parenthood of illegally selling fetal tissues, threats against the organization had escalated to unprecedented levels, abortion providers say. Notice not cops say, abortion providers say. They stepped up collaboration with the FBI and local police and stiffened security at clinic clinics. But on Friday, their worst fears came true. A man walked into a health center in Colorado Springs and opened fire. Police have not yet identified a clear motive for the shooting. Uh, the guy was nuts. He was totally Wasn't off of his gourd nuts. Gender? He was trans something. He was uh, he registered as a woman to vote. He was going to vote as a woman, so it would have been the female vote. Probably would have voted for Obama if he was the female vote. No, right? no, no. He would have gone for Hillary. Well, yeah, because he's ready for get, Hillary. Get, get it he's right. He's ready for Hillary. She was ready for Hillary. Oh, she. You, I'm you sorry. Got to, you got to. Use I got the to right. give the people their dignity. You got it. Yep. Even with their bloodthirsty murderers scum. So police have not yet identified. Okay. Garrett Swayze and two other people, uh, okay, I won't read that, uh, but the suspect, identified as Robert Lois Deer, attacked a clinic run by Planned Parenthood, a longtime foil of anti-abortion activists that has been under heavy scru heightened scrutiny in recent months. During his arrest, Deer referred to, okay, this is, the article says, during his arrest, Deer referred to baby parts, a law enforcement official said. Now, the, the, the quote was only attributed by an anonymous source. That is the only place that this quote came from that he supposedly said baby parts. I call BS. Oh, I call BS too. It's total crap. I, I, I doubt seriously much. Uh, and if, if the police were going to release statements for what the guy said, would they just release all that they've so-called so released? An anonymous source said he said baby parts. But listen, I'm going on the premise that even if this guy is everything that they said he is, which he's not, but if he was, if he targeted the Planned Parenthood, if he went in there and he killed a bunch of people intentionally targeting Planned Parenthood, first of all, let me do the little hashtag, hashtag not in my name. As a Christian, as a man of liberty, that guy did not do this in my name. I would be like, you know, I want Muslims to disavow themselves from Muslim radical fanaticals, I would say, yeah, I'm disavowing myself, I'm not, you know, and he doesn't speak for us, you know, so I've done all that. But even if that was the case, Planned Parenthood still does this, and I'm going to scroll down here, folks, and I just want you to remember, Planned Parenthood still murders unborn babies, hacks their body parts up while they're still in the mother's womb, and then sells their body parts. This is what Planned Parenthood does. And if you want to continue to defend that and tell me that I'm using incendiary language because I dare call murder murder, well, you know what? You can do whatever you want. I'm not shutting up. Maybe it's time for Planned Parenthood to do a better job communicating what it does. 
Oh, you mean, oh, it needs better language. Yeah, well, I mean, it has words like no, no. fetus. No, no, they need to communicate. They need to bring the public in and have press conferences. And Do a little tour during an abortion. Yeah, exactly. See, this isn't bad. Look. This is what we do. It's better amended. Yeah. You know, 90% of the fetuses we abort are black children. You know, you don't want those people, you know, taking over. Oh, wait, did I say that out loud? Oh, no, no, no. Could, maybe we could do an imaginary, uh, you know, scenario of exactly how Planned Parenthood could describe abortion in a way that... Uh, it is just a medical procedure. We, you will be like, having a medical procedure. There is an, there's an entity which is... Uh, alien? It is uh, tumescent within you. Uh, it is uh, no, not alien. Alien implies uh, life and, and cognizance. Let's not do that. No, there's it's 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 a tumescence within you that is uh, is is causing certain resources within your body to be appropriated in a way which is 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 not of your choosing. So what we will do is we will simply uh, apply the necessary pressures that are required to. Uh, uh, disassociate this tumescence within you from the 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 potentiality of 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 taking up more of the resources within you that this entity, this tumescence, with which is without consciousness, never asked your permission to take from you. So there you go. So it, in that light. Do you have pictures? I do have pictures. Do you want me to go to the pictures? I can yeah. go because because this is the entity right here. This is the two essence. The vile the, the, creature. The, the the taker up of resources without your permission. That's that's what we're talking about, folks. So we just want to make that clear. And uh, but I was a little heartened. I, I I didn't know how this was going to go at first because so often I'm not a conservative. I am a libertarian. This is why I have my little, it says, uh, state speech is hate speech, by the way. You can get these at freedomfiends.com. Get Freedom Fiends buttons. Get them now. There's only 10 bucks. Ooh, I got you a set. I got to give you your set of Freedom Fiends buttons. But you're missing two buttons. I'll have to get you another set. Okay. I, I look forward to it. I know you do. I'm a button guy all the way. I know you are. Uh, well, you got the suspenders, so they could be like, you know, what do, you, what, what do they call it when you're at the restaurant? And you're, Gay. <laughs> that is in a, I, you know what hashtag not in my name I'm hashtag, sorry. hashtag not I, in my name I hashtag not in my name I misspoke they call it Bruce Jenner oh hashtag not in my name wait did I I gotta do that a lot when I'm around you I got a hashtag not okay. in my name you know what you should make a little sign like on the end of a little stick and just <laughs> yeah. pick it up it just it's says like, hashtag not in my name hashtag not in my name here yeah <laughs> But I was encouraged because the conservatives, uh, I, I think the conservatives, I won't say con Republican leadership, they're still who they were. They're still cowards and all that. Shills. Shills. They're, they're, they are part of the, the progressive hate machine. But, the, but many of the others, uh, certainly the rank and file conservatives have finally figured out that they're actually in a war and they're actually acting like they're in a war. Well, I think Hillary Clinton made that abundantly clear. Oh, who do you hate most? Well, let's see. Do I hate ISIS? Do I hate cancer? No, my enemy. I hate Republicans. Republicans. That's why when you elect me, I'm going to elect. I'm going to represent all of... Well, let's see if we do... Freaking Republicans! I hate you! Did, I wonder what my face looked like there just now because it was like really like kind of pretty mean. Did I scare you? Actually, Dimitri wet himself a little. I have that effect on you. That wetness is cruel. Right. Okay, I would rather you were... Okay, that's not that's the true. kind of wetness I was looking for. It's kind of like the kind of drool that comes this out of your gone, mouth when you're sleeping. Yeah, this has gone horribly wrong. It is. I didn't I didn't see this going well, what, this way. What were we expecting on this subject? This we're sucks. trying our best, man. This sucks. This is, this is a kind of a downer, man, but we're almost we're almost through it. We're almost with soldier through. This sucks. It so, is murder that is perpetrated and advanced by the state. You know, I used to be pro... Um, pro death? Yeah. Pro murder? Pro, yeah. I, I was okay with the death penalty. Oh, um, okay. Um, and then it occurred to me that the most incompetent institution on earth, your government... Government. Is the one... 
who is choosing who dies who dies I don't you know, trust them you know, just, to maintain you know, the road. You know, it's a jury that chooses you. Yeah, the jury. Oh, yeah. Because I'm going to trust my life or anyone else's life. only show truth. Yeah. An another. And everyone has a fair chance, whether you're poor or rich, you have the same chance to show your truth That is in the a myth jury of trial. America, certainly. I do not trust the government with the death penalty. Now, harm my children and personally, I don't have a problem with the death penalty. I, I don't have a problem philosophically with certain people paying the ultimate price for their crimes, but I have a problem empowering government to be the one to decide. Yes. See, I, I said that succinctly. You should look up the word succinct and then practice it, and then next time you're on the show, you'll be better. What do you think? If, I, if I sleep with like a book on my head, yeah. will it like... Come into my head. You'll osmotically be osmotic. at my level. Osmotic. I made that up. Osmotic. Dude, sometimes I get osmotic when I'm around cats. <laughs> yeah, so do I. I'm osmotic when I'm around a cat. I'm just thinking about it. So, my screen just blanked out on me. But it's yeah, bad. I do not trust the state to murder people on my behalf. Um, I think they get it wrong more than they get it right. Uh, you know, I don't... I, I, I have a feeling they probably don't get it wrong more than they get it right, but I think they get it wrong way more than they people should. realize. And and also, I think that the people, there's plenty of people who, if you're gonna if you're gonna kill people for crimes, certain types of crimes, uh, why is it that uh, an inordinate number are from the lower classes and of particular races? Oh yes, of particular races, yes. right? But if those races have achieved some level of success within our society, O.G. Simpson, um, <coughs> you, they, e, they can e, literally get away with murder. Yeah, pretty much. The rich can get away with murder. Okay, it's true. So, so Carly Fiorina, uh, basically, she came out hammering like immediately. She didn't back down, and uh, uh, New York Times, they're so upset. Is her name, wait, did you say her name is Hammer Fiorina? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, Hammer! 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 She is the Hammer. Uh, it's it's kind of old, actually. I don't, I don't want to get into GOP politics, unless you want to. Do you want to suddenly get into and prolong this show any more than it has to be? Cricket. Right, exactly. Cricket. Do you have sound effects on that thing? I do, Cricket. but I choose not to use them. Oh. That is That's coming from your mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, you just listen to a sound. You just think about this sentence. You don't think about it until you hear it this way. You just listen to a sound that came out of Dimitri's mouth. Better my mouth. Better your mouth. Than other orifices. Orify. I'm just going to say orify. I prefer orifices. I'm, just, uh, I, I'm changing it to orify. So, uh, New York Times is so upset. After attack, Republicans keep hammering Planned Parenthood. They're like, oh man. Crap! Didn't work. Hit him harder. Hit him harder. Hit him, hit him with the public shaming even more. Come on, man. Hit him. Come on, New York Times. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. And so they did. And so they... they I'm going I'm to read the, uh, the money part. It's been just a few days since a shooter killed three people and wounded nine others at a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs. And Republicans... By the way, no, it wasn't just Republicans. It was... I'm not a Republican. Demetri's not a Republican. It was people like us. It was anybody who actually opposes murdering unborn children in their mother's wombs. Uh, Republicans have already resumed their baseless accusations against the group. That's right. Baseless accusations against the group. Carly Fiorina has determinedly promulgated the claim, first advanced by the Center for Medical Progress in its deceptively edited videos that Planned Parenthood sells body parts. This is the New York Times. This is how they write. This is their idea of journalism. I'm not going to read the rest, but I do want you to go to stateofwake.com and you can read the rest there of the There is a reason why their readership is dropping off like crazy. Like, because wait, 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 wait. Crazy could be a good thing. I mean, maybe you mean like dropping off like, like flies or dropping off like crazy. You can't think of something funny, can you? Dropping off like crazy. That's it. That's all you got. You got nothing else. The you can't. The point like... was, the point was, their readership is suffering because there are other media outlets. Say, now. I was gonna say, I was gonna be funny. 
and I was going to say dropping off like uh, uh, Charlie Sheen's uh, listings in his black book. Oh, I thought you meant yeah. Charlie Sheen's genitals after that one encounter with. No, I'm just saying, you know, he, that. The, the, those the, the numbers that he can call in his black book are dropping off. quickly. Quickly. That's that's we're going to use that analogy, the Charlie Sheen analogy. Okay. Let's continue. Totally relevant. Let's continue. Oh, no, go ahead. Because there are other media outlets, these traditional outlets that would guide the masses to the conclusions that the ruling elite wanted them to come to, no longer work so well. And so the New York Times is going to continue to have to get crazy with these articles. You know what it is? I've, I've used this analogy before, and this is the world that we're living in. And this is, this is true no matter what political uh, slant people have. When you are a person that yells at your kids to get results, what happens as time goes by in order for you to continue to be effective? Your kids start yelling at you. No. And you have to, first it's like, Frank, don't do that. Frank, don't do that. But by the time they're 18, they're like, Frank, I will rain down on you. I will reach my hand through your open neck and I will pull out the inner, inner innards of your body and rip them out and stuff them down your girlfriend's throat in front of you. That's kind of where you end up with. Right. And that's what's happening. That's where we're and going. Well, the, but the louder they scream the less effective it gets. Uh-huh. And at some point you can the, your kids are going to turn around and they just and start tone hit, you out. Tone you out and and they can yell back. Uh, if they yell back or, or they yell back or they hit back or they just tune you out and they ignore you. There are consequences. All of those things will happen. Now, I want I want you to remember the the baseless accusations. Uh, if you're watching the video and again go to YouTube and look up State of Wake, youtube.com backslash C backslash State of Wake show. And you can see on the video what it is that Planned Parenthood does behind those doors. The quote unquote baseless accusations of what abortion looks like. This is what it looks like, folks. And these are the dead body parts that Planned Parenthood has sold. Evil. Yeah. And, and, I, and I saw one last thing here with uh, <coughs> from Red State. Someone wrote a very good article called, No, I Still Don't Stand with Planned Parenthood. And she said, uh, I don't know, that I didn't put the name of the girl on here. You'll have to go to stateofwake.com and, and there's a link to the article and see the name of the girl that did this article. Uh, However, I still don't stand with Planned Parenthood. Too often I am confronted on social media or elsewhere by those who are shocked that I don't support Planned Parenthood. But they don't just perform abortions, they said. There are many other services they provide, they exclaim. I don't deny that Planned Parenthood clinics nationwide do have a variety of services. However, there is nothing so sacred as life that a clinic does breast exams, or which it actually doesn't, or yearly physicals in no way balances out the life-destroying crimes they commit. By the way, it's not a crime because it's legal. Because, you know, law. Law's hold on, hold on. I said law. Um, um, law, law. I, did I show significant or proportional reverence for that? Did yes. I do that? Yes, you did. But. How do you go? What do you know? Are we back? We're back. We, we, go? We, 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 we lost... Uh, I, I have a nose issue right now, folks. I'm not going to lie to you. His nose. I'm his, trying to make it through the show, but it's hard. I can see the whiskers that are turning yeah. up. Are you? You're, you're going to do that psychoanalysis of my nose? No, I can see the whiskers can that are it? turned up and tickling the bottom of your nose. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It happens to me all the time. So, so you were about ready to say something before I paused. It was going to be so important. But I don't probably the best part of the show. It, w it was. The and I don't remember. It's probably the the apex of your radio career. And I I have a career. Yeah, you do. Wow. Yeah. I that should is say freaking awesome. Career. Awesome. Well, I have a career. That means yeah. I'm important. It's somewhere. So I'm I'm going to read a last thing here, and then I'll have you comment here. All I need unless to you say, want to say something first yes. before I do this. Go ahead. Yes. Evil. 
evil. No, it is. Plain and simple. No, it absolutely is. It's... Every ancient civilization in every text, the civilizations that had written language, have outlined abortion as being evil. How are we any different? You know, we, you have a lot of lefty loonies who are like, Hey, man, the ancient Aztecs, man, they, they had some wisdom, man. And like the ancient Egyptians, they had wisdom. Those Hebrews out in the desert and the Chinese, man, with their herbs. They all knew shit, man. They did. Their herbs. Their herbs, man. They had lots of good herbs back then. And they were powerful, too. But they had <laughs> wisdom, man. With authority there. They had wisdom, man. And, and you know... In, in, what, wait, what did they write about abortion? Oh man! Oh man! Oh, man. They were narrow-minded. Yeah, man. They, no. they were like conservative crackers. Yeah, man. man. They, those <laughs> yeah. Chinese, they were white yeah. too, with that straight hair. Yeah. And those Egyptians, they were white too. Have you seen those pictures of the Egyptians? They look like bunch of crackers. Man. Bunch of crackers. They're, they're the privileged man. Yeah, man. I abortion, hate myself. Abort, there's nothing wrong with that, man. Yeah, I mean, that's just killing unborn life inside a, a woman's it's womb. It's like cutting off womb. your finger if you cho so chose to. You could do that, right? Oh, wait, you can't. Yeah, you can. You can? You can cut off your finger if you so chose. Yeah, but you'd be hospitalized. But it goes back, so it's okay. <laughs> hey, if you smoke that hey. stuff from China, man. <laughs> yeah! Anything man. you want on Yeah, man, that <laughs> stuff goes back, man. So I'm going to read... Uh, my my closing thing my, on this, and then I'll have you. My point though, was that oh you have a point. People are selective about what they choose through history, and abortions were rampant through the ancient world. But even the ancient civilizations recognized how evil it was because they actually called it out in their holy texts from every civilization around the world. Please proceed. In a volunteerist world. The morality of a people must come from a free will volition, whether the morality is formed by an external ideal or a pragmatic assessment centered around the subjective desire. Without the state to protect a morality that stands squarely against a people group, without the state to coercively enforce a morality of a people group, ideas and actions must rise and fall in the free world arena where decisions to violate the morality of a people group may be met with social shaming or market exclusion. In a voluntarist world, a voluntarist world, the true morality of a people is laid bare. We could not hide, for good or ill, behind a government gun. We would more truly be who we are, and our actions would more fully be met would more fully meet reality. The bad actions, the ones that hinder commerce of goods and ideas, would no longer be protected by the state. Their damage would be readily seen and the socioeconomic backlash would more freely be able to form. Abortion is one of those bad ideas that while it will never go away entirely, as no form of murder will until the end of Christ's millennial age, will never so easily flourish, so readily be funded as it is today. Murdering ourselves for profit is counterintuitive to commerce in all its free forms. This is why I continue to stand against the government-protected and government-funded big business entity that is Murder, Inc., or Planned Parenthood. Remember, Behind those walls, behind that innocuous pink sign, men and women in lab coats, funded by the government and protected by the government, are reaching their metal spikes into the soft, warm bodies of pregnant women and hacking to death, poisoning or injecting with acid fetuses that are then removed and shipped off for further medical experiments. No one on the pro-life side is advocating for murder, for violence against these murderers, but no one, including me, will relent one bit, will dial back one notch, the truth declarations against this vile practice of murder. 
the pro-murder media might want to daily look at the fruit of the work they so faithfully defend. Just to make sure I do my part to remind them, let me once again, with the, bl with the bloody truth, excuse me, let, the, let me end once again with the bloody truth. Murdering unborn children is evil and must not be protected or funded by the state. Evil. So what do you got? See, I wrote mine out to my ending, so I had to think about it, but we weren't prepared. You didn't even know this was our show we were going to do today. So, so come on. <laughs> Amaze me. Evil. That's it. That's what Dimitri has to say. Dude, come on. You, you got something. Go ahead. You, you like to complicate things with like fancy words. Oh, fancy words. Yeah. Like it and the. No, like is. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I, should, I shouldn't use the word. Can is. you please define it, the, and is? Well, please? it depends upon what your definition of is. is. What I said before really stands. I feel like an abolitionist. I really do. Like, there is a calling. Now, the abolitionists did want to go to war. Some of them did. But many of them chose to go through the legal process to try and free the slaves. And I feel there are different roads to take. Uh, being the um, libertarian, my road is a peaceful, nonviolent one. But you have to recognize the evil that is going on in America today. And it's not just America, because this is an agenda that's, that's spread to Europe, uh, it's spread to Southeast Asia, you know, the Chinese are aborting ch children. Uh, that they see are, or that they believe are uh, counterproductive to their civilization. They just allowed, what was it, about a month ago, families to have a second child. Yay, government! Yeah. Um, but it's the same thing all over the world. It is a deeply rooted evil that is being perpetrated by our governments. Why? That's a good question. And I think on that note, we'll let you guys think about that. Think about your position, especially for our libertarian friends. And, you know, I have to say, I'm very happily surprised to see how many libertarians. And, and you know, it's interesting. The, the true libertarians, the anarcho-capitalist libertarians, the ones that actually believe in no government, they're much more consistent with abortion than the minarchist uh, libertarians, if you want to call them that. But I think it's a little, you know, contradictory. But they, they view uh, abortion, from what I've seen largely, as a violation of the NAP, non-aggression principle. You are aggressively taking a violent action against life. <clears throat> so I'm very happy to see that. So we are, we're calling this episode Newsfire, even though we are putting it on our, out on our State of Wake network. Uh, we are working on the official State of Wake show. This is not the official debut of the State of Wake show. What is your State of Wake? What is your State of Wake? That will be the question. Uh, so next week, we may or may not have the first State of Wake, the first official State of Wake show, or we may have a another Newsfire show. It'll all depend on whether Dimitri or maybe gets we'll off both. of his fat butt and actually maybe gets we'll work done. do both. I think we should do both. Oh, you want to both it? Yeah. You want to be a bother. Dimitri wants to be a bother. I'm calling your wife and letting her know that you're a both. Or I'm gonna oh, see she you. enjoys bothing. Oh, she likes the bothing? Oh, dude. Okay, and now we're done with this conversation. All right, so this has been Paul Gordon Collier with stateofwake.com with... Dimitri A. Bozikas. Dimitri A. Bozikas. What's the A for? I am an A. Bozikas. Uh, what's the A for? Aristomenes. I had a different word in my mind. I won't say what it was. See, you're, I was just going to say Arnold. Uh, I don't know what you were thinking. Ace. 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 Dimitri Ace for Zekas. Yes. Dude, that's lame. Thank you very Why much. Why would you say that? What? Arnold? Ace. 
Ace. Oh, Ace. Oh, <laughs> you're a total Ace. Total Ace. Yeah, that's uh, okay. D well, A B. A little dad will do you. Oh gosh. No, we're done with this conversation now. Yes. This is over. I'm going fetal. I'm going fetal. And we'll see you next week on Newsfire and or Stay Good Awake. Week. Good night. And sweet dreams. After that conversation, good luck with that. Yeah, anyway.